with over a population of 1.357 billion china has proven to be the mecca of esl teaching now china alone holds or admits over 10,000 esl teachers that is huge isn't it however with the current covid restrictions most of the, these teachers had to go out because of the restrictions and the lockdown now china has opened its borders and is ready to admit teachers now in this video i'm going to tell you the 2023 requirement to be able to teach and live legally in china but guys before that don't forget to subscribe like and share the video this is the only way you get to support me and how i put resources together to be able to bring this important information to you so guys subscribe now to support the family and let's get even bigger China has made a U-turn on its COVID-19 virus prevention policies from zero COVID lockdown measures to now reopening its international borders. Not long into the new year, life in China and travel in and out of the country will gradually return to some semblance of normality. On December 7th, China's health authorities started removing its zero COVID lockdown policy in an effort to return to normal life. While the country is seeing large numbers of new cases, heirs are returning to restaurants and consumers returning to shopping malls. 90% of the figure before the epidemic outbreak. This comes just in time for the end of the year holidays. To be able to teach in English in China, you need to come from one of the native English speaking countries. They are the United States of America, the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and some that may come later. Now, the only African country other than is um, South Africa. South Africa is the only African country that is regarded as a native speaker. You should come from one of these native countries to be able to teach English in China. However, this is the catch for non-native speakers. So, if you are a non-native speaker and you want to teach in China, you should have attended a school. You should have attended school in one of the native countries. So, for instance, studying in America, studying in the UK, studying in Canada, yeah, universities, and have a degree from, or having a master's from any of these native schools in a native country. That is the catch. Now, even with that, you are not allowed to teach English, but you can be able to, you can be allowed to teach, let's say, science using English or math using English. You still don't qualify to teach English, but hey, once you get the, I mean, once you get the qualification, man, teaching uh, science using English, the same as using teaching English using English. So that is the catch. That is the catch for non-native speakers. So to be able to get a work permit in China to teach as a non-native speaker, this is what you need to get. You need to one have a teacher's license from your country. So for instance. I'm from Ghana, I have a, a teaching license from Ghana and that is uh, given by the National Teachers Council from Ghana and I know Nigeria has also got a Nigeria Teachers Council also. So you should have a teaching license from your home country stating that you are a teacher in your home country. Now once you have this, the next is that you should have attended a school in one of the native English speaking countries like America, UK, Australia, Canada. So you should have basically do your masters in one of these countries and you can teach in china like english in china or whatever so that is point that's the catch for non-native speakers so guys this is the criteria that can help you get a teaching permit or a teaching visa to china now in china there are different categories of uh, visas you have business visa you cannot teach with a business visa in China. But I think in other countries like uh, Vietnam, you can teach with a business visa. You all teach with business visa. But in China, you need to teach with a teaching visa. And that is the Z visa. Yes, that is the Z type visa that you need to be recognized as a teacher. If you don't do this and you are caught, you'll be deported. And so last year, for instance, and last two years, a number of teachers were deported from China, especially African teachers or non-native English teachers were deported from China because they breached the rule. Some had business visa and they were teaching with it. Some didn't have this qualification. I mean, you know, this requirement is very strict and it's very deep, very strict and very deep. Because of that, 
most of African teachers or most of the non-native teachers are moving from China. And that gives room for native speakers. So if you're a native speaker and you are considering teaching ESL in any of the Asian countries, voila, guys, then China is the best shot for you. Now, after the COVID restrictions, a number of teachers have moved from China, coupled with the fact that, I mean, the government of um, China closed most of the after classes too. So, like after classes, kids move to some of these uh, private institutions to uh, get English learning. So the government clamped down on them. People were now allowed to rather teach English in other subjects. So you can teach science using English, teach math using English. And this put a lot of non-native speakers out of work because most of the non-native speakers were those who were used for this kind of job. And so because of these tighter restrictions and coupled with the coupled with the cover restrictions, more non-native teachers have moved out of China. And now the road has been cleared. Now China is ready for work. And so if you are a non-native speaker, you can work there. Now I said that the basic salary to take in China is around 3,500 to around 3,000 or more, depending on your experience, your qualification, what you have done before, and all of this. So guys, if you are a native speaker, you can try China. It is one of the best. And if you are a non-native speaker, but you've had all this I'm talking about, you um, attended university or let's say a master's degree in one of the native speakers, and uh, you have a teaching certification in your country, then guys, China is number one on top of the list ahead of all the rest, Vietnam, Thailand, whatever. China is number one. Try China. So you also need a TEFL certification, teaching English as a first language or TESOL or CELTA. Now, among all the qualifications, CELTA ranks high. I mean, CELTA ranks high because of a number of factors. And CELTA is very expensive. So guys, if you hold a CELTA or if you have a TEFL, they are all approved. However, I said CELTA ranks high, but if you have the rest, one two three hour, one eight hour, it's all accepted. Okay, the next is a criminal background check. So a criminal background check is very important. You should get a criminal record from your police department in your country stating that yes, you, you, are, you don't have any criminal record. I mean, why would a country admit any uh, teacher who has problem with, or who has a uh, criminal issues or criminal background history? I mean, that would, be, uh, that would be a big blow. So China also sees to that. You should have a clean criminal record in the past six months or more from your police department to prove that yes, you have no record. Now guys, after having all these qualifications, the next thing is to legalize them. In China, it means a lot to them. So like Vietnam, you want to teach in Vietnam, you have to legalize your document. In the same way, if you want to teach in China, you also have to legalize and authenticate your document. This is also very important. So guys, this is the qualification and requirement to teach in China in 2023. Don't forget that China teaching market is already booming and is doing so well for native speakers. If you're a native speaker, you should turn your attention there. However, if you're non-native, just pass through this requirement and you can teach successfully. If you don't have this requirement as a non-native teacher, I think, um, well, we have other teachers there who are also teaching without this. Some are teaching without, with a business visa, but some are teaching with business visa, but man, it can result in anything. Don't give it a try. However, if you're already there, I know you're already trying. So guys, that's it for the requirement you get to teach in China in 2023. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Of course, if I left anything out or if I didn't mention anything, leave it in the comment section and I'm going to thank you for that. So guys, it's a wrap for today. My name is Kweku Sikemi Abante. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Let's go.